Hello everyone and welcome back to another segment of FF Insider. This one is going to be about product and technology and today I'm joined by Chris with Monroe and Associates. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your role at Monroe and Associates? So my role is, uh, actually I have several roles at Monroe and Associates. On this particular program, I am the program manager uh, leading the group of nine team members here. I also teach um, through our certification program, um, as well as uh, help develop some of the software modules that we utilize. And what are you doing here at FF? So here at FF, we're doing what's called a fit and finish quality analysis. And this is where we go through the vehicle and collect uh, numerous data points to see where improvements can be made. And we've now collected on these vehicles over 13,500 data points that we'll then report back and repeat on the next vehicle to see how those gaps have been closed and where improvements still need to be made. You guys don't do just these kinds of analysis on vehicles though, right? There are other types of products you do them for. Correct. We do this for home appliance, for heavy machinery, um, aerospace uh, ships, We've done it on pretty much everything. Wow. And how do these processes help manufacturers uh, put out their products? Well, it helps them identify where their quality issues really stand. Typically, when a, a manufacturer is looking at their product, they see it too closely. Um, and additionally, they'll look at it piece by piece instead of in total. What this allows is to give them a data analysis so they have the actual numbers to go through, they see where their problem areas are, and then they can uh, go through and attack those issues. And while you guys have been here, you haven't just looked at FF91, but you looked at two other vehicles that are in the same benchmark as well, right? That is correct. So we looked at the Bentley Bentayga and the Maybach S-Class. Wow. So today is actually the last day that you're here at FF, and what did you do today? Well, today um, I actually gave a um, report out wrap up of our time here, um, but the project is not complete. So we have an additional uh, two to three weeks where we have to gather all this data and uh, put it in a proper report out format. Then I'll be coming back to do a live report out with upper management. Um, other final things that we did today was a secondary uh, look through from the entire vehicle just to make sure we didn't miss anything, um, as well as do a couple extra studies on the suspension. So while you've been here, you've had the opportunity to get a real deep dive into FF91. Have you seen anything that you really like about the vehicle? One of the main aspects is going to be the um, technology immersion within the vehicle. Uh, that's going to definitely be something that um, is forward thinking in where vehicles are now. We do see a lot of technology, but the way the, the plan is to incorporate it into this vehicle is beyond anything else that's currently on the road. As far as styling features and, and little things, obviously the zero gravity seats in the back, gotta love those. And the panoramic sunroof where you can really see everything is great. Individual touch controls and screens for every passenger in the vehicle, which individualize their specific environment is a very nice touch. How is this process as a whole? Are you looking forward to coming back? I am looking forward to coming back. Um, and the main reason is because I always like to see what progress is being made and where things are headed within a company. Um, specifically, the timeline that Faraday is looking at, it's very compressed. Um, they're very aggressive and everyone seems confident. So I am really excited to come back and, and see the next vehicle, yes. Great. Did you get to participate in the riding drives? I did not, unfortunately. Okay. We did a total of 22 uh, ride drive evaluations. Um, the thing is that, yeah, because of our large crew and I wanted their full feedback, as well as on the Faraday vehicle, um, we had to have a Faraday employee with us um, just in case there was any issues. So I offered myself a sacrifice I did not get to, um, but I will on the next round. So when you come back, you are gonna get into the car? Personally, I will drive it and yes, and be a passenger both. That sounds exciting. Yes. Are you ready to have that 1050 horsepower? I hands? am. <laughs> I am very, um, very looking forward to that. Great. Well, thank you, Chris, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having us. 
And thank you all so much for watching this segment of FF Insider. If you haven't already, make sure you download the FF Intelligent app available on iOS and Android. There you can interact with us, learn more about FF91, and even reserve your own FF91 Futurist. Thank you so much for watching this episode of FF Insider, and we'll catch you on the next one.